Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul Fletcher, and I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Jigong Sha. I am coming to you live from Honolulu, Hawaii, and today is October 14, 2016. And today I will be focusing on uh, more of how to bring out the soul language, how to use it, how to serve others with it as we move forward. If you joined us yesterday, you would have actually witnessed the revealing of your soul language as there is a way in which it can be released. There's a sacred mantra, a sacred code, which all of us learned yesterday. Um, and um, I'll touch on it a little bit later. And in doing that invocation and in, in repeating the process to bring out our individual soul language, we were able to have some pretty extraordinary results. Uh, there were several people who commented about the, the value of the practice for them. I received some comments after the fact how some people uh, were looking forward to using it to communicate with their children. <clears throat> so there's actually some very unique benefits that come with this, uh, this amazing ability to communicate with our soul and to open our soul language. So it is my greatest honor to be with you all here today. I see we're starting to populate a few people. And Tawana has joined us. Welcome, Tawana. Welcome, Gabrielle and Esther. Great to see both of you. And Ben Garzozo. Uh, ben Garzozi. Garzozi. I like the last name, Ben. Um, saw you here yesterday. Great to see you back today. Welcome back, Michelle and Shari. Thank you. I saw a question from one of your friends, Shari. And so she's, she's pretty excited about the releasing of the soul language and hopefully I can assist her with her uh, back pain. And then uh, Gabrielle said aloha. So welcome everybody. <coughs> um, as live stream starts to populate, we'll move forward. But for those of you that did uh, reveal your soul language yesterday or get any additional aha moments if you are aware of it, please share what those experience was for you, if, especially if you opened your soul language for the first time. I'm curious as to um, what results might have occurred for you. I had one lady comment that uh, she, she wrote afterwards and she said, um, you know, it was really amazing because I felt very open and I felt very emotional. I thought that was a really interesting comment because when this, this practice, this uh, ability to open your soul language is about opening the spiritual channels as is this entire week and a half, two weeks that we're working with. And, um, but when we teach this, opening your soul language, using your soul language for healing, using it for opening your spiritual channels, etc., um, typically people will have uh, emotions. People will be very excited. Some people will cry, and it's a joyful cry. There's a variety of, of ways in which it shows up for, for different people. Um, I had never actually taught in a forum like this. I've taught it in a classroom where you can see people, you can interact with them, um, you can tell where their blockages are, you can walk up, put your hand on their message center, uh, bless them to open things up. But to actually have taught it in this way where I can't see what's happening on your side, it was a unique experience for me. And the thing that I was most pleased about was that everybody <clears throat> um, was able to receive the wisdom, apply the wisdom, and everybody's heart center was was open enough to where uh, I, I received that 70% of the newer people who had never opened their, their soul language was able to open and release it. So for, for me, that was truly a great uh, uh, pleasure to be able to assist that many souls. We've had a few additional folks join us. Uh, Aj Kadiz, I think coming in from Aussie land. Welcome, Aj. And Kathy's joined us. And then um, Linda Jansen, welcome, Linda. I see Sandra Gopal has also joined us, and Kristen Strachan, Carol Skuckle has joined us. Welcome, everybody. So today is Friday. Today is usually a, a little bit slower. I don't know if people are already on their, their weekend vacation or they're out to dinner on the East Coast. That's 8 p.m., so they're probably all out to dinner spending their paycheck. <clears throat> but uh, we will move forward regardless, and I will serve you regardless. In Hawaii right now, it's only 2 o'clock. So let us connect heart-to-heart, soul-to-soul first. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Let us drop our left hand in front of our heart center. Keep our right hand pointed to heaven. We're going to connect to the soul world and ask them to come to join us. Dear Divine, 
dear Tao, dear Source, all layers, all the way up to Creator. We love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you. We ask for your presence here today. Please come to sit in each of our heart centers. Bless us to align our soul, heart, mind, and body to the Divine's soul, heart, mind, and body. Bless us to open our spiritual channels. Bless us to reveal and bring out our soul language. Bless us to use it to bring healing and value to others. Dear the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, I love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you, and I ask you to please be present as well. We ask all of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints to be present so that we can align our hearts and souls to your intentions and desires. We thank you from the bottom of our heart for choosing us to be someone that you watch over, to prepare, and to guide that we can further align to our soul in its journey. Thank you to our heavens team. <clears throat> Dear, any download and treasure that every soul here has received on their soul, we love you and we appreciate you. We ask you to turn on. We ask you to assist today to open our hearts and souls to the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you. We thank you for your service. We ask you to please turn on in all souls in all universes and we ask that as we chant love, peace, and harmony that you offer your unconditional service. We ask also that you bless each of those on the line and each of those that will watch this video later to open their heart center and bless them to use their soul language to bring healing to themselves and to others. So for those that are familiar with love, peace, and harmony, please chant along. For those that are not, please close your eyes and receive. <clears throat> and you can make a request for anything that you would like. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula li lula, lula li lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai tren ren li. Wang li rong er mu shi xiang, shuang ai ping an er xie, shuang ai ping. On I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. One more time. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin erling. Wo ai tren ren lei, wang ling rong er mu shi xiang, xiang ai ping an er xie, xiang ai ping an er xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> we say how, which Mandarin Chinese means uh, perfect, complete, great. And we say thank you three times. The first thank you is to uh, the divine Tao Source. The second thank you is to all the holy beings who have come to service on our soul journey today. The third thank you is to our own soul. So that's why we say thank you three times. 
So we see a couple more people join us. Uh, Carol Whitney has jumped in there. Welcome, Carol. Patricia, always great to see you. And Patrice King. Uh, wonderful to see you, Patrice. <coughs> and Pat, love you, love you, love you. Thank you, Pat, for your service. And Da Fu Wu, which is Mandarin Chinese for greatest service. And then Anissa. Hello, and Marina has joined us. So do us a favor, help this wisdom to get out there. Please hit your share button, let other people know. Maybe we'll get one or two new people who will wake up to this wisdom and can serve them. Good morning, Suki. It's about 5.30 in the morning in India. And Yvonne has joined us. Welcome, Yvonne. Okay, so today we're going to take the wisdom that we learned yesterday on the Soul Language Channel <clears throat> and we're going to move it a bit further. Did any of you do your homework? Did any of you reveal and release your soul language for the first time yesterday? If you're a first timer, type in, yes, I released it for the first time. I'd like to know. Um, I'm also going to offer some additional teachings. I had to find this piece of paper because I did not want to reveal the wrong information. But there's an actual pathway that the uh, energy runs through our channels to reveal our soul language. And I'm going to describe that pathway to you so you know exactly what's happening. And there are four major pathways of the <coughs> soul communication channels. Remember, there's a soul language channel. There is the direct soul communication channel, which is translation. Uh, there is the third eye channel, and there is the divine direct knowing channel. Each of these four channels we'll be covering through the remainder of this week. Maybe in the next week, depends on, on how the teachings go. And each of these channels serve the purpose of allowing you to connect with heaven, to connect with Jesus, Mother Mary, Buddha, Kuan Yin, connect with a loved one, connect with uh, the angels, healing angels, archangels, potentially connect with your heaven's team, uh, connect with your own soul, because these are all souls, just like you are a soul. And we are souls having a physical experience. We're so ingrained in this world that the 99 percentile of our experience, we're stuck in the worries and the fears and the pain and everything else that's happening in our world, and we forget that we're truly, really, the other 99%. We are a soul first, having a physical experience. And so heaven, in their greatest love, has brought to us great beings. Uh, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Buddha, beloved Kuan Yin, all of our heaven's teams. Um, they have brought so much blessings to us. And my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, uh, is, is another uh, very special being who has come to the planet to serve at this time. I again bow down to this master because everything you've heard ever come out of my mouth since the beginning of these lives three months ago and for the last eight years that I have been on this journey with this spiritual teacher, the wisdom you hear me say, not mine. It's all wisdom that was brought through this divine uh, channel to serve humanity. So Dr. Master Shah is truly a blessing. Learn more about him. So welcome Michelle and, um, and everyone else. So if you are if you did open your soul language for the first time yesterday, please let me know. The homework yesterday for those that did, and even for those that already had theirs open, was to offer a blessing to somebody else with your soul language. Did you do it? Did you go out and try? Did you contact somebody and say, hey, I want to try this. I want to see if this stuff works. <clears throat> yesterday, um, I gave you an example of soul language. I will do it again today. I will offer you all a blessing again today with my soul language. But when I offered it yesterday, it was three minutes, not that long. I just spoke soul language, a little bit of soul song, which I'm going to give you some opportunity today to reveal your soul song. And um, when I offered that blessing for the three minutes, uh, I tell you, my soul must be very, very excited to bring healing to you guys. Literally, uh, there was about 10 people that responded with, yes, I had this pain and now it's about half. Uh, a lot of noticeable differences. I got to say, I was surprised. I was truly surprised. With my other healing treasures, I'm not surprised at all. They're very, very powerful. I just did not expect uh, for soul language to bring in three minutes to bring everybody's suffering down to half. I was pretty surprised. But that's the power of soul. And that's why, I'm, that's why these practices are so extraordinary. When you reveal... When you work with the power of soul in all of the ways that I've been teaching over these last months, all the ways I will teach moving forward, when you heal at the level of soul first, then the mind and body has to follow. 
there is no choice. When you open up your soul communication channels, when you connect to the soul world, then you will hear messages from the soul world. It's just a matter of clearing the blockages between here and there. Where are the majority of the blockages? Right here in the heart center. So I see Sherry Hartree says yes, uh, that uh, Hatchery says yes, that she opened it for the first time. And Kathy Campbell says she opened her soul language yesterday, but worked a long day today and did not get a chance to try it on anybody. I appreciate the honesty, Kathy. <clears throat> so um, I would like to hear if anybody did try to use a soul language to offer a blessing to somebody. And if so, what were the results? Now, uh, as with any form of healing, typically it takes longer than three minutes. One of the reasons the blessing yesterday was so profound is because I've been blessed to receive a status of what's called a, a divine vehicle and channel. And it's, it's, I call it a status, it's really what's called a soul standing. And the only way you can, anybody can increase their soul standing is through service. That's the only way uh, is, to, is through service. Uh, the truly the and then if one is doing service and they happen to be under an, an enlightened being, then that enlightened being could choose to uplift your soul standing more by offering uh, um, a transmission. And so I've been very blessed to be given this status, which basically means I have a lot more responsibility and the, the frequency that comes through me, which is divine frequency, uh, tends to work quite a bit better. Uh, and so my soul language might have a little bit more power than yours, but all souls carry power. And so um, I'm going to offer you a blessing at this time using my soul language. Remember, if you haven't hit the share button yet, please hit that so other people know about this. <coughs> uh, Shari, Shari says, uh, I did offer a blessing with my soul song yesterday. Homework. Good. Very, very good. You've already released your soul song too. She's trained a little bit longer than most of us. Tawana says, I'll keep practicing. So we will go through it quickly again. I'm not going to do the whole teaching again. You have to go back to yesterday's video to get that. But I will go through it again so that we have a chance to double check. Did I release it? Is it my imagination? Was it, you know, we're going to double check that. And then I'm going to walk you through offering a blessing to yourself in a specific condition. You're going to offer a blessing to yourself. And we're going to do a group blessing uh, for each other. Okay, so that's what you can look forward to today. And if there's time, I'm going to share with you how to release your soul song from your soul language. Now that's a lot of fun. Okay, so prepare to receive. Sit up straight where you're at. <clears throat> Put your feet flat on the ground. Um, place your hands one over the other on your lower abdomen. Close your eyes. If possible, if it's not uncomfortable or painful, then please bring your back away from the back of the chair. Because at, when the back is away from the back of the chair, it allows heaven's energy to flow more freely and not be impeded upon. All right? Um, if it's uncomfortable, if it's painful, don't even think about it. Just relax. The, the blessings will still work. It's just a little bit better if the back's away from the back of the chair. Okay? Touch your tongue gently to the roof of your mouth. Keep your tongue there. Keep your eyes closed. Breathe into your lower abdomen. Breathe out. Another deep breath in and relax. Prepare to receive. Ask the divine for a blessing. If you have no pain or physical suffering, then you can ask for whatever you desire. But ideally, you want to ask for something that is measurable in this moment. So you can measure some sort of difference if that is what's supposed to transpire here. It's because it's up to divine. Prepare to receive while I set up. Dear my soul language, dear my soul song, I love you, Ani, appreciate you. As appropriate, please go out to all those watching this video live now and when they watch it in the future. Offer a blessing as appropriate for their request. I'm very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessing begin. You will now hear my soul language if this is the first time for you and you'll hear my soul song. Sansa <laughs> 
Thank you, thank you to my soul language, my soul song. Please return. <clears throat> okay. So, as I continue to offer teaching wisdom and sharing on the soul language and its ability to bring healing, the uh, other information on it, please share. What was your experience before? Did you have a pain, a suffering, a limitation, a body movement limitation? Did you have a headache? What did you ask for? What have you noticed? Were you stressed before? Less stressed now. Um, and try to... Try to, you know, uh, put a value to it. It's, it's half better, it's a quarter better, something like that. <clears throat> so now I'm going to share with you, I mentioned uh, already the four major channels. We've been focusing on the soul language channel, which starts with the release of the soul language. Now, it's called a channel because there's actually energy that runs through certain parts of the body to create this channel. So in the human body, there's uh, the seven energy centers or chakras. Master Shah calls them seven soul houses. And there's also very special energy points. <clears throat> in the first week of this, of this teaching and blessing for how to open <coughs> excuse me, the spiritual channels, I taught about the five major energy centers. And a quick repeat on those, lower Dan Tian, message center, um, third eye, kundalini point, and the Zhu Chao, the Intelligence Center. So we spoke about those four major energy centers. There's additional ones that are talked about in the uh, teachings, which is the Ming Min point. Now the Ming Min area and Ming Min acupuncture point are exceedingly way important energy points. They are probably the, this is probably the <coughs> most important energy point in the human body, at least at the current time with Master Shah's teachings that he is revealing. <clears throat> Where is the Ming Min acupuncture point slash Ming Min area? Touch your navel, put your finger in your navel, draw a line straight back to that dip in your back. That is where your Ming Min acupuncture point is. 
and the Mingmen area is that whole area, fist-sized area right there. So why is this point so important? It's called the Tao point. Tao is spelled T-A-O. The reason it's called the Tao point is it's a point where heaven and earth connect. <clears throat> so it's literally a portal point, a portal for heaven to communicate with us, a portal for earth to communicate with us. That's why it's such an important point. And it is the point through which every channel, every channel that heaven and earth communicate with us begins. So imagine Jesus is talking to you. It comes through this point and then it goes through certain parts of the body. <clears throat> Same thing if you're receiving images. They come through this point. So the Mingmen acupuncture point is an extraordinary and important area. There's an association with it to the Kundalini area. If you could draw an imaginary coil and you put your finger on that point and then you did a little corkscrew down, go down about, looks like go out about two inches and start curling and curl down two inches. Nice two inch circle, right? Just go down about two and a half inches. Start that curl and then curl into the circle. Again, start at the Mingman acupuncture point inside your body. Nice coil down about two and a half inches and then the coil comes into itself to a point in the center. That is the area called the Kundalini area and the Ming Min point has an association with that area. So when we boost power to the uh, Kundalini, it absolutely impacts the Ming Min area and the Ming Min point. <clears throat> and so where is the soul language channel? So uh, I have to give it just a bit more in case there's new people that don't know these areas. There's also what's called the seven chakras or energy centers. The uh, briefly, where are they located? One through seven, the first one is just inside the body in between the anus and the genitals. Just inside the body, fist sized. Second energy center, um, up a little ways, and it's roughly an inch and a half below the belly button in the center of your body. The third one is directly behind the belly button. The fourth one is your heart center, and it's in the center of your chest plate between your nipples. The fifth energy center is inside the throat. All of these are fist size energy centers. The sixth one is also it has association with the third eye, which is in the center of your brain. And number seven, above the head. Those are your seven chakras, energy centers, seven soul houses. Different nomenclature, same thing. <clears throat> now that you know these, here's where the channel is for your soul language. So when we release it, when we utilize it to serve, when I offer the blessing, it's running through this channel. It, point, it starts in the Mingmen acupuncture point. So that's at that dip and that in your back. It goes from there uh, up the spinal cord. Now the spinal cord is inside the spinal column. So it goes up the spinal cord through the fifth soul house. So when it gets to the top of the spinal cord, it comes this way around your neck in the center of your body and goes through the fifth soul house here. And then it goes up to the brain uh, and back down through the third eye. Excuse me. Yeah. So it goes through the fifth soul house, through the third eye to uh, the brain, and then back through the third eye, back to the fifth soul house, back down to the heart center. Up the spine, up through five, six, seven, back down to the heart center. So the method center is where we, where we have the end result of that message, which is why we practice the message center from the beginning. Why do we open our heart center? Why is it something that you should do every single day? What is the association between the heart center and almost every suffering in our life? Separation from the divine. If we're separated from the divine, we're suffering. Pretty simple. And so every time we spend practices opening our heart center, in essence what we're doing is we're reconnecting our self to our soul, and then our soul then can reconnect us more to the divine. It's a very practical set of teachings. We just walk it through. <clears throat> and so that is what's called the soul language channel. This teachings was not revealed yesterday because I did not have this piece of paper to make sure I got it accurate. I was pretty sure I was correct, but I didn't want to make a mistake and teach the wrong thing. So there's also a channel for the third eye, there's a channel for the direct knowing, there's a channel for translation. Um, so we're going to go over those later on in this week. 
These kinds of teachings, as a reminder, are very sacred. This is the kind of stuff that truly you'd only get if you're sitting with a guru in a cave in the middle of China and you had to walk around in a circle for three months before the guru came out of the mountain and said, okay, you've tried hard enough, come with me. We'll teach you. Then you have to feed him and, and give him water and you have to stoke the fire for 10 years before he feeds you any of this kind of wisdom. That's the kind of high level wisdom this is, guys. I'm not making this up. Why do we have it at this time on earth? Why do we have the ability to bring this to you freely and so openly? Because there's major things happening on the planet. Why is soul language being revealed? Why the ability to offer such miracle healing with soul language or through the transmissions that I've been blessed to receive? How is it possible for, for such wisdom and such miracles to occur at this time on planet Earth? The only reason why is because Earth's in a big, 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 big trouble. Um, we have calamities left and right, all kinds of Earth-based calamities. We have the possibility of war right on the border of, of every aspect of life. Every part of, of humanity is in big trouble because there's a huge separation from the divine and there's a great deal of karmic aspects going on with humanity and Mother Earth. <clears throat> and so there's uh, a purification process, a cleansing process. And in these great times of strife, our beloved Creator sends great beings to the planet to serve. We have the Dalai Lama, we have other great beings that come to the planet. Dr. Master Shah is one of those. They each serve their own purpose. His purpose is to bring the message of love, peace, and harmony, like many others. But he has a unique ability to do miracle-level healing. And he has the unique wisdoms that have been brought to humanity. So go pick up one of his 10 New York Times bestsellers and become more educated. So when we work with the soul language, the purpose, the power, and the significance of soul language is to bring healing to others. We're now going to do a quick recap on the soul language from yesterday, and then we're going to use it to bring healing to ourselves, and then we're going to use it to bring healing to others. Okay? There might be some new people coming in for the first time. I see Shauna Sugg, and Sarah has rejoined us. Welcome, Sarah. Rob Red has come back. Emma McLaughlin, <clears throat> thank you all for joining. Uh, Johannes has jumped in there, and uh, Marina said that, uh, that uh, the blessing that we received a little while ago uh, brought down her anger a little bit, so good. So, a recap on yesterday. For anybody that's new, anybody seeing this for the first time, please go to the same Facebook page, uh, my Facebook page, Paul Fletcher. Um, scroll down, you'll see yesterday's and all this last week. Uh, if you want to see the past few months, click on the uh, About Me button, scroll down to videos, and you'll see months worth of, of documentation on a variety of healing wisdom and teachings. Um, Yesterday, we taught how to open the soul language using a number code mantra, 3396815. The Mandarin Chinese uh, language is San San Jo Lu Bai Ya Wu. Everybody repeat. San 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 is 3 3. Mandarin Chinese. San San San. Jo. Joe, Joe, Joe is the number nine. If you've been to any of my practices, we, we boost power to the Kundalini, we boost power to the lower Dantian, chanting Joe, 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 Joe. Although it's the number nine, it's the vibrational frequency that impacts and boosts power to the area. It's called sound power. It's one of four powers. San, San, Joe, repeat. San, San, Joe, San, San, Joe, San, San, Joe. San San Jo, Lu, 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 Lu is the ribs, so this vibrates the rib cage. Lu is the number five, San San Jo, Lu, 3396, excuse me, number six, 3396, 3396, San San Jo, Lu, San San Jo, Lu, San San Jo, Lu, San San Jo, Lu, Ba, 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 Eight, Ba is the number eight, Ba is the navel, Yao, Yao is the head area, number one. San San Jo Lu, San San Jo Lu, Ba Ya Wu, Ba Ya Wu. Again, repeat. San San Jo Lu, Ba Ya Wu, San San Jo Lu, Ba Ya Wu. Three three nine six eight one five. San San Jo Lu, Ba Ya Wu. Wu was the last number. Wu is your stomach, which is the number five. So each of those uh, 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 numbers carry a sound vibration and they vibrate a different part of the body. Again, 
Go back to the teachings yesterday if you want to know which parts of the body and exactly what's occurring. The essence is that when we chant these numbers in this order, it unlocks very specific parts of the body, cracking open the soul language channel, revealing the opportunity to, uh, to bring healing to yourself, others, and connect with your soul. It's a, quite an old language, and, uh, and it's served millions of people. So, uh, the spelling is not quite correct, Felix, but the pronunciation will work. So, <laughs> that's good enough for now. All right. What we're going to do now is we're going to chant San Sandro de Balau until the soul language is released. We're only going to do this two or three minutes. For all those that are unable to release their soul language, that's okay. Go back to yesterday's video. You'll be a lot more power in that one, a lot more practice in that one, and the specific ability to release your soul language. Um, however, when we go to bring healing to ourselves and others, we can just chant San San Joli Bayawu because that's the predecessor to releasing the soul language, and that will sufficiently work. All right? All right. So repeat with me. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. Close your eyes. Put your hands in your lower abdomen. Repeat after me. I'm going to give, walk you through a, a soul connection. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. Mantra. I love you. Please bless me to release my soul language. Thank you. Okay, let us chant. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. 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 A little bit slower. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. 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 How? Now we're going to move straight into soul language at this point. So for those that are new, I don't expect that you're going to be successful with this last part. For those that tried it yesterday, couldn't quite release it. Here's the rules. Do not worry about the pronunciation just say things faster and faster and faster the words will start to come out blurred just repeat san san joli bawu as fast as you can do not let your brain get involved in controlling the appropriate pronunciation when that does you'll only be able to speak so quickly if you let go of the need to control the pronunciation will let go and your soul language will start to come out the blur condition, the blurringness of the, of the words, causes the channel to open up. And it's the code that is, 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 is literally running through your body going zzz, 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 zzz. It's opening and moving blockages in the body. And when you speak, I'll give you an example. Instantly, your, your voice will start saying some funny words. You'll speak in weird in a weird sound. It might be la 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 la. It might be very low 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 low. It could be any number of things. Your brain might go, "What is this?" and stop you. That's not your soul. That's your brain. We're trying to bypass it right now and communicate with your soul. So, if you want to know more, go back to yesterday's video. Okay, let's all do it together. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. 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 San San Jo Lu Ba. Faster. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. Faster. Faster. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. Faster. 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 San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. 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 Faster. 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 You can do it. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. 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 San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu.
no matter how fast you tried. Let it go. Say it fast as you can. When it starts to come out funny, just go with it. It could be quiet, it could be loud, it doesn't matter. Just go with it. Just say, let's see where this goes. And just let it go. People were opening their heart. There was some emotions. There was some, some people are really loud. The more you let it go, the more cathartic it will be. Let's do it again. How? How, how, congratulations. I know at least one more person revealed their soul language. Heaven told me, I think maybe two, but at least one more person opened up their soul language today. That's one more soul that's connected to the human body that much closer. Congratulations. Did you feel hot? Are you sweating now? Are you feeling excited, emotional? What's going on for you? If anything's happening, please share. We're now going to use this or the mantra 3396815, San San Jolie Bayawu, to bring healing to ourselves. Okay? So we're going to use the four power technique. You're going to, uh, if you haven't revealed your soul language, that's perfectly okay. You're just going to chant San San Jolie Bayawu over and over. That's perfectly okay. That certainly heals. Okay? So where you're at, what I want you to do is. <coughs> Uh, choose an area where there is pain in your body, okay? If it's, if it's uh, finances or relationship and that's the priority in your life, um, then put your hand on your heart center. Otherwise, choose an area of pain. Thank you for sharing, Felix. <laughs> uh, it's funny. And welcome, Deborah. <clears throat> and so now we're going to chant using your soul language or the mantra of San San Joli Bayawu. So again, place one hand on your lower abdomen, the other one on the area of pain. If the area of pain is unreachable, place both hands on your lower abdomen and put your mind on the area of the pain because that's where your mind should be anyway. That's the mind power. Visualize golden light in that area. So we have mind power is the visualizing golden light. We have the body power, which if it's other than a physical body, suffering, place uh, one hand on your heart center, one hand on your lower abdomen, and the sound power will be San San Jolie Baya Wu, or soul language if it's been revealed, and uh, soul power. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of my soul language, and San San Jolie Baya Wu, mantra. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you please bring healing and blessings to me for and then state your condition. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, if it's a pain, try to m figure out what your pain number is. Is it a six? Is it a two? Is it a 10? What is it that you're asking for if it's a pain? If it's something else, also try to figure out, is it moderate, you know, if it's a relationship, are you having stress about it, etc. If it's something you can't measure, well, that's just something I'll have to check in on later, okay? All right. Close your eyes. Visualize golden light in the area. <clears throat> Let us chant. San San Jolu Baya Wu. 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 San San Hey la 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 San San Jolie Bayou, San San Jolie Bayou, San San Bayou, the good is good, the good is 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 the good
Deep breath in, relax. Really relax. No need to get up tight. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Try to do your language without being uptight. San Sanjali Bayu, San 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 be quiet for now. Just listen. Keep your mind on the area with golden light. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of divine, dear all beings, if I or my ancestors have brought harm or suffering to you physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially, or in relationship, I truly truly deeply apologize on behalf of me and my ancestors if I have brought harm or suffering to any souls that has caused this suffering in my state finances relationship spine whatever it is then I deeply and sincerely apologize to those souls I never wish to cause anybody harm in their relationships in their finances in their you know whatever it is I have learned my lessons I truly do not wish to cause any harm or suffering to any souls ever please forgive me whatever I and my ancestors may have done I deeply apologize I offer you my unconditional forgiveness if in this or any lifetime you have harmed me Thank you. Now let us go back to San San Joli Bayawu. Continue to repeat. For those that are new coming in, just receive the blessings, make a request. San San Joli Bayawu, San San Joli Bayawu, San San Joli Bayawu, San San Bayawu, San Bayawu, San Bayawu, San San Bayawu, 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 San Bayawu
and that soul is very powerful. Now, this is why we share. So please share. If there was no result, that's okay. We only needed a couple of minutes. <clears throat> but the soul language is very, very important because it's also related to soul communication, which is one of the main reasons we started this a week ago, is to open our soul communication channels. When we first reveal our soul language, that means the channels are already starting to open. That also means, as you noted, when I gave you the, the specificity of the location of the soul language channel, you notice it started in the Mingmen acupuncture point, the Tao point, the point where heaven and earth connect. This Tao point is exceptional uh, in terms of our health and well-being. It's exceedingly important to put focus on and continue to open. It's exceedingly important to boost power to that area uh, through our Kundalini practices and other practices uh, because as we keep this area open, we receive messages. Our soul language can heal more. We can start to hear messages more clearly. We're going to move into translating messages more tomorrow. So I see some comments, wonderful sharing. Felix says, I am present and energized. I feel free from pain. I am anchored to myself and confident. Many blessings. Wonderful, Felix. Thank you. Tawana says, wrist has less pain. Felt warmth and then chills. Great sharing. Uh, it's common nomenclature in, in uh, any form of healing that um, cold energy is old energy. Cold energy is old energy, meaning old energy is moving out. So the higher frequencies come in, bring warmth, and the old energy leaves great uh, validation on the less pain and the physical validation and then sherry says sacrum has improved thank you three minutes not much uh, michelle says less pain in the shoulder area wonderful good observation michelle kathy says the throbbing i've always had in her right shoulder uh, maybe it, it uh, has subsided so on the next text she puts has subsided that's truly wonderful magical magical think about that couple minutes and this transpires um, and Deborah says feeling tingling <coughs> in her uh, tummy <coughs> which obviously is the area she made a request for imagine what would happen if you chanted this for 10 minutes if you chanted even if you just chanted San San Jolu Baya Wu remember when Master Guo received a special sacred code well over 50 years ago the other millions of people that came to his his, um, uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, his, it's just a huge courtyard where, where, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people would come every day. He'd offer healing to everybody, but what mantra did he teach them? He did not teach them soul language like what you're learning today. He just taught them San San Juli Bayawu, and they, they received remarkable results because it's a sacred code. So we feel very, very blessed to have this kind of wisdom in humanity today. And so um, this information can be found in a couple of different books. You can find it in the Soul, Mind, Body Medicine book. You can find it in the uh, Tao Song, Tao Dance book. And I believe it's also revealed in the Divine Healing Hands book. Um, so any one of those books would have it. I don't have the time right now, Felix, to type it in. <coughs> tomorrow, we're going to be focusing on moving from soul language... And since we didn't get to do it today, we're going to move it into soul song because soul song carries an even higher frequency. How cool would it be to be able to go to your cat, your dog, a child, a grandchild, and be able to sing your soul song to them? It stops animals in their tracks. They could be barking and howling. and any, You just sing your soul song to them. They'll just stop. They'll cock their head. Be like, wow. Uh, because soul-to-soul -soul communication, soul song is truly very, very beautiful, very, very powerful. And everybody has a soul, everybody has soul language, and everybody has a soul song. The soul language and the soul song can and will go through transformation over the course of time. What causes that transformation is actually your soul. As its soul standing increases, the frequency shifts and the vibration of the song is literally doing healing to different parts of your body, organs, and systems. Also, if you move more towards being a healer, the frequency needs to be higher. Sometimes people that come to this teaching wisdom and practices 
um, they don't <clears throat> know anything about this. They just come to get healed because they're suffering. And of course it works um, because we're healing at the soul level first and then the mind and body has to follow. Uh, it's, 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 it just it works. And, and so once people feel a lot better, then uh, they, their, their heart is open and they're moved and they want to bring the same healing to other people. Then they move towards becoming, uh, for example, a divine healing hands healer. Now, the relevance in that is that if you receive a divine healing hands healer transmission, your body, the energy channel in your body, instantly becomes wider. Your soul standing instantly goes higher. And your, obviously your ability to heal other people uh, is dramatically higher. And um, this causes your soul and its soul standing to carry a higher frequency. It's been common practice when people receive these higher transmissions that their soul language changes and their soul song changes and it's representative of a shift in their frequency it's representative of a shift in their soul standing so there is so much power that is available through the wisdom the teachings of dr and master shah i encourage you to go to his website drsha.com <clears throat> he has a 24-hour chanting channel with unconditional free service to humanity uh, it's on the internet it's tv as in television tv.drsha.com so the regular website, drsha.com, the chanting channel to serve you 24-7 is tv.drsha.com. And um, there's so many uh, benefits through, through these um, uh, avenues. I am one of over 100 divine channels uh, that have been elevated to be of great service to all humanity. And, and I'm very blessed that, that, that you have listened to your soul because... You know, many, many people see these posts. 700 people flip through this video on certain pages, but maybe only, maybe only 50 actually watch it from beginning to end. The others say, ah, not for me. Why? Their soul is not awakened enough yet to the wisdom. They're not quite ready yet. But a seed was planted. It might be a year from now. They're like, hey, I, I heard something about that about a year ago, this soul over matter something or other. And then, ah, their soul opens up and they're ready. You're here now maybe you're ready do more homework become aware of how healing the soul first can transform every aspect of your life i'm happy to serve you individually if you'd like individual soul readings individual soul healings if you know somebody is looking for a soul mate i have an entire program for that all of this can be found on my website uh, asoulhealer.com you can reach me at asoulhealeryahoo.com that's my website <clears throat> email, excuse me, asohealer at yahoo.com, and of course, Facebook messaging. So please hit the share button after this to tell other people about it. Um, you can hit the follow. I don't think it says follow when I, when I end the video. Maybe it says, I forget the exact verbiage, but it'll say something in the upper right-hand corner about, um, about um, how you can be told when I go live. So look around for that and click that button, and you'll know when I go live. And um, please tell your friends, you know, your, your, your real friends, your personal friends, not just the Facebook friends that you only really know a little bit about. <laughs> your real friends uh, are the ones that you trust and they trust you. And if you receive value, they probably would like some value as well. So I love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm going to see you on Monday. And we're going to go into soul song and translation of this so that you can learn to hear heaven a little bit better. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye.